So innovation in the world of true wireless earbuds comes in a whole host of shapes and sizes and as someone who tests hundreds of earbuds a year, I really get excited when I see innovation that works. Today we're taking a look at Airloop's innovation and to see if this type of innovation is what we need. So will they be any good? Welcome to a review of the Airloop Snap. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with the review of the Airloop Snap. So these earbuds are graciously sent over to me by Airloops for review and although these were sent out to me, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into before buying these earbuds. The Airloop Snap retails for about US 139 and that is about 560 Malaysia Ringgit but the Airloop often has discount going on on their website so definitely check out their website when you want to get one of these earbuds. So the Airloop Snap is a very innovative earbuds that has a really great idea behind the concept and I personally think that the idea is executed pretty nicely here. The Airloop Snap is marketed as a 3-in-1 earbuds which features a TWS earbuds, a sports band and a neck band inside one complete kit. Now you'll be thinking why would I need to have all of this in the era of TWS? Well I asked myself the same question then and now that I know why, the idea is seriously brilliant. So let's take a look at the design of the earbuds first. The entire case of the snap is made of this metal finish with a gold sand color finish and at the top of it you see the Airloop logo nicely engraved on the case. The case of the Airloop is a slide out type very similar to what you get with the Creative Outlier Go or the more recent JVC XC90T. And the opening action of the air loop feels like a pressure sealed same chamber so you gotta pull it quite strongly and once you pull them open it's like a pressure sealed chamber and it's like when you're opening a door to an airlock and the cradle slides out nice and slowly pretty cool at the side of the earbuds you also get a flap that hides the USB-C charging port inside and above that you get four LED indicator that tells you the battery percentage of the case and inside the earbuds sits in a pretty rugged fashion and they are held on with this proprietary connector called air loop link so you can see that the air loop link connector is pretty chunky and has quite a big magnet to suck the earbuds into place when you put them in. So these are very smart because it acts as the charging contacts as well as the connector to connect you up to the air loop neck band. From all the pictures you see from the box online, the snap looks really super rugged and holding it in person, it really does look very rugged and well built. The entire earbuds is made of this hard plastic shell in the shape of a hexagon and on top of it you see two buttons. The top button is your multi-function button so this is what you use to control all of your media and the logo button is for you to turn on and off your earbuds and to reset your earbuds if you require it. At the back of the earbuds you get your typical in-ear style ear tips and also an in-ear sensor to detect whether or not the earbuds are in your ears or not. So definitely great stuff there. So if you get the three in one bundle you also get the sport band which you can just slot your earbuds in and you can loop it around your neck. I think this is brilliant because sometimes if you're out and about and you don't want to bring the case around you can still remove them from your ears and then let them hang around your neck. You'll also be getting a neck band which is also very smart and the neck band connects to the earbuds through the air loop link connector. With the neck band fully charged, it'll give you an additional 12 hours of usage time so it's super suited for you to use it at conference calls all day. Ultimately, the Airloop Snap will give you about 10 hours of continuous playback time and the case gives you an additional 8 times charge cycle so you get a total of 80 hours of playback time. So of course, this is tested in a conservative volume. The louder you play, the lower the battery life. The earbuds and the case takes about 2 hours to fully charge. So the Snap is also a pretty nicely spec earbuds and comes with a Qualcomm Bluetooth 5.0 chipset which gives you support for AptX, AAC and SBC audio codec. 
So since these are to a certain extent spot earbuds, Airloop also gives you an impressive IPX7 water resistant rating. So you can put this into your sport bands and not to worry about getting this wet and if you enjoy running in the rain, these are perfect for you. The Airloop Snap still uses an older method of connecting to your phone so both sides will be connected to your phone and once you remove the connected side and put it back into the case, it does take a couple of seconds for the other side to reconnect to the phone. So not the most seamless experience but at least you get to use either side of the earbuds out of the case. Case. Lastly, there are no multi-point connectivity on these earbuds, so you can still connect them to multiple devices, just not at the same time. So it's been a while since I've last tested an earbuds with a graphene driver, and the Snap comes with a 6mm graphene composite dynamic driver, which means that these earbuds give you really good reproduction of sound. For one, the Airloop Snap sits really snugly inside the ear, and it just goes quite deep into the ear canals, and give you really good passive noise isolation. Bass on these earbuds are really good, but mostly will shine with louder volumes. At lower volumes, the bass does seem to be a little bit shy. Fortunately, from my tests, mids, highs and vocals are all reproduced really nicely. I usually do not blast my earbuds, but if you run iOS, these are not your loudest earbuds. I think volume-wise could really go a little bit higher because for iOS, there are no independent volume controls. On Android, you can max out your earbuds and then control more volume on your phone itself. So for iOS, I find myself hovering between 70 to 80% of volume most of the time. Soundstage-wise is pretty decent, giving you really good audio separation for songs with complex instruments. So watching movies on these are also really immersive. So call quality on this is also very good for modern earbuds and gives you good sound quality in quiet and noisy environments. Calls are really stable and I don't experience any breakage and I think overall it still lets a little bit of that background noise through but overall still pretty decent call quality. Anyway let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Airloop Snap is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So with this version of Bluetooth 5.0, watching videos on YouTube and Netflix is really enjoyable and there's practically no delay. Playing games, however, does have a tiny noticeable delay, so if you're using this for competitive gaming, definitely not your best option. Anyway, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not these earphones actually have a latency problem. So what I'm going to do now is clap into the microphone and you should be able to tell. So here we go. And if you see the hands not synchronized with the sound, then you will know that these earphones actually have a latency problem. So the Airloop Snap does provide you with pretty comprehensive controls for all your media requirements and even volume control. So these are pretty good execution from Airloop. So in order to increase the volume, press and hold on the right earbuds and it will slowly increase your volume. And to decrease the volume, press and hold on the left earbuds and it will slowly decrease your volume. To play or pause media or pick up phone calls, simply press once on either side of the earbuds and it will play or pause your media. Or alternatively, you can just take out the earbuds and use the in-ear sensor. In order to skip tracks forward, double click on the the right earbuds and it will skip forward and double click on the left earbuds will skip you backwards. And lastly to call your assistant, triple click on either side of the earbuds and it will pause your media and pull out your assistant. So that's basically all of the controls you get with the Airloop Snap. So ultimately I really like companies who innovate and think of ideas to solve everyday problems and this may not be the first earbuds that actually does that but I think it's the first that executed it nicely. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.